I'm Christy Griffith with Shoes TV. I'm in ecstasy on Melrose with singer-songwriter Susan Justice, and we're going off the rack. And with every lesson, you'll get wiser, wiser. Let's go shoe shopping. Let's do it. So what kind of shoes do you like? I just want something that pops out, catches my interest, something a little bit different, original. Um, I love, 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 love shoes. It's ridiculous. I, I have, like most girls, I guess. <laughs> How many shoes do you have? I can't count them. I just have so many of them. We should find something cool. All right. What are those so, over there with the lace on, the white lace? Those these ones? These look yeah. like Jeffrey Campbell Levis. Oh, interesting. Those are cool, kind of like crochet. Yeah. A little too woodsy on the, on the bottom part of them, though. I like, we can just like roam around, right? To just wander. Yeah. These are kind of cool. I like the black and white. They not look good on me, though. It's funny, I have this weird thing where I just like put it in front of me and look in the mirror, and then that kind of tells me how it will look on me. And so far, it's kind of served me okay. These I would try on just because they would be really good for walking around the city. What part of New York do you live in? I live in the East Village. So you have to walk a lot? Yeah, I mean, anywhere in New York, it's, it's really a walking town, unless you want to take a taxi, which I, I I promise you, like, probably half of my budget goes to taxis. I really kind of want to try these on. They're so elaborate. It's something that I wouldn't normally go for, but I think I want to try them. Okay, that's cool. Let's try I like these. that. It's a yeah. good choice. Oh, these are the ones I wanted to try on. Ooh. These are awesome. Those are hot. Yeah, let's try these. Let's go try them on. Yeah. Which pair do you want to try on first? I'm going to try these. Okay. These are hot. How do they feel? They feel comfortable. They feel normal. I could probably run in these, hailing a cat a taxi. Dolce Vita. Okay. They're so comfortable. The heel is like, it's like not wearing heels, basically. I'm really tempted to get these. These are Francesco Sacco. Sacco. Let me go look in the mirror. These I didn't pretty... get a chance to check them out. You know what, I don't hate them. Tell me about growing up in the group known as The Family. Oh God, it was like, I have to say like the happiest time of my life was knowing that I was not in that group anymore. Like, it's, and it's weird when you grow up in something so you think it's normal, you know, and then, but then you see, you know, you're exposed to everyday life as well, so there's this disconnect. How did you discover music when you weren't allowed to listen to the secular well, music? Yeah, it was really weird because we all sang music together as a family, but it was more for proselytizing purposes mm -hmm. than for than to be musicians. Did you always feel a connection to music? You just weren't as free to express it? Exactly, yeah. Tell me about traveling with your family around the world and busking on the streets. Crazy. So crazy, especially we had a, such a big family, 10 brothers and sisters. All of us were born in different places. Sometimes we would live in really nice houses, and then other times it was like a city a day. We just like have all of our stuff with us, and we'd like, for example, land in, we'd take the train to some city in Germany, we'd throw all of our stuff in lockers, go out, busk in the street during the day, or do a gig or whatever. Um, go get all of our stuff, go to a hotel, and then do the same thing the next day in another town. It was just one of the greatest times ever when I just left and I started writing music and performing with other professional musicians. And it, it was a time of like rediscovering music. Right after September 11th, I went out and I started busking in the subway. This guy that I met who had a studio, I paid him like 500 bucks and I recorded my first CD myself. And then I would sell that when I'd go out and I would sell so many of so many copies. The subway really was very helpful in me meeting so many people who just wanted to help out, who loved what I was doing. When do you start touring? I don't have a set tour date, but I'm already starting like, you know, coming here to mm -hmm. LA. I'm doing a lot of shows here and there, just meeting meeting people and figuring out how the, li the live show is going to be. Tell me about the song, right? The lyric says, what doesn't kill <clears throat> what doesn't, you, what's the lyric? What doesn't kill you makes you sick, and if you're sick, you learn a lesson, and with every lesson, you get wiser, so I figure that it pays to cross the line and eat a little dirt sometimes. And the reason why I wrote that was because I wanted to I wanted to write something about, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but I didn't want to use it as those exact words. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
a little bit, go in, go in a circle a little bit more with it. And so, so the song's called Eat Dirt, and it was the first single that was released. So pe people, when they hear that, they're like, oh, she's obviously like trying to be sassy, like, oh, you just go eat dirt. But it really doesn't mean that at all. It's really, you have to eat dirt in order to learn your lesson and then and pick yourself back up. And even though you like, you, you're just eat dirt, <laughs> you know, you, you can get over it. Basically. If you had to pick a favorite between these two? Well, these serve different purposes. These are amazing for going out, for performing, for, mm -hmm dates, whatever, mm -hmm. and these are just for like going to meetings, right. running around the city, going shopping, running errands, whatever. So they're both, they're both great. Are we gonna have a first time ever tie on Off The Rack? Oh my Do you wanna call it a tie? Yeah, We're I'm gonna have to tie. call it a tie. We've never done that before. Really? No. Definitely. Susan, thank you so much for sharing your story and trying on shoes with us. Thank you for shopping with me. You're welcome, <laughs> I can't wait to see you live. Thank and you. make sure to check out Susan's album, Eat Dirt. It's on iTunes right now. And where can we keep up with you? You can go to my website. It's more of a blog, and it's susanjusticemusic.com. What doesn't kill you makes you sick. And if you're sick, you learn a lesson. And with every lesson, you'll get wiser, wiser.